The primetime Emmys are tonight. It's the biggest night in television, and you know Hollywood's hottest stars will be showing up on the red carpet. Here to dish more on what we can expect are Ross Matthews and Kristen Dos Santos. Hey, guys, thanks for speaking with us. Thanks for having us. Duh, we're happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> we are so happy to have you. Now, you're both known for having the red carpet covered from all angles, so who are you guys excited to see? I gotta say Sofia Vergara. Oh, yeah, she always looks really good. She brings the drama. I mean, there's something, there's that moment when she walks on the carpet and every time just stands still. Uh -huh. She's like a marvel of modern architecture. You just can't, <laughs> you draw and slack jawed. I'm a female and I just, I have to check out every inch of her. Uh, she is dating, of course, Joe Manganiello. We don't think they're going to arrive together. Oh, God, but... I hope they do just for all of us. Don't you hope <sighs> they show up together so we can just love slash judge them together? It might be too much. I might be done at that point if I'd they're together. Fine. It's too much beauty all in one place. I also <laughs> look forward to Kerry Washington every year. Of course, nominated this year for Scandal again. She's so yeah. great. She could even win. You never know. Uh, they are both so gorgeous for sure. And Seth Meyers is hosting. How do you guys think he'll do? Before you go through that, <laughs> he'll you do great. Know. He's yeah. so funny. And, so you know, they kind of did this with Jimmy Fallon when he took That's that spot and they gave him the chance to, to uh, host the Emmys and it worked really well so the formula has worked before I think he'll be great he's a pro how much of a different style do you think he'll bring than some of the previous hosts that we've had well I think you know he doesn't sing or dance I think he's a little nervous you know you he really so? it's kind of like this is his first real huge mainstream big thing there are a lot of people who frankly don't know who Seth Meyers is still and I think for him to host the Emmys is such an honor I, it's a tricky year because of Robin Williams and yeah. they're gonna have to you know obviously give him the tribute that he deserves but last year a lot of people thought that it was too depressing that the Emmys were you know really sort of um, too morbid and too serious in tone so I think he has to bring that levity and I think he really has to bring his A game when it comes to the jokes because that's what he that's what he does best yeah I think he should just get out there do a few LOLs and then get to the awards right that's what I think right, right? no right. Those, are, those are great points guys of course we got some pretty awesome shows going up against each other this year so let's talk one of the biggest categories uh, for me at least outstanding drama you've got six powerhouse shows who do you think will win uh. I get emotional when I talk about this because I was such a huge Breaking Bad fan. Yeah. Breaking Bad, it's the final year. I'm sorry, I think anyone who watched that season thought that it was flawless. It was the best series finale of all time. Yeah, but, but it aired months and months and months and months ago. So it, it feels might be like last like... year's story, yeah, doesn't it? it? And yeah. it's up against True Detective, which obviously mm. has a lot of heat, Matthew McConaughey. I think uh, Brian Cranston will lose to Matthew McConaughey, but I think Breaking Bad will win, I hope. And then there's also House of Cards, which could sort of sneak in, which is Netflix's thing, too. So you never know. It's going to be emotional. This is a very tough category. <laughs> it is such a tough category. Wish we had more time with you guys, but thanks so much for chatting with me and giving us all the inside scoop. Of course, the Emmys are tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, and we will definitely be tuning in.